Hematology is intensive. It is exciting, rewarding, but demanding speciality. It encompasses both clinical and laboratory part. That's the excitement part of it. And it is a dual role and opportunity for clinical skills and a lot of advances in science today and <clears throat> how to give optimal treatment and monitoring. So that encompasses for, you can say that for most speciality, but in hematology, I would like to impress upon what is it. And I tell my residents, it is the mind of Sherlock Holmes is required in most of the cases. And we, in the afternoon session, in some of the image reflections, we would say that you need to apply your mind in a group and come back with what is best for him. It is not just about stopping and answering a question or getting the answer, the thrill of answering or making a diagnosis, but looking after the patient subsequently to his lifetime and how do you plan the future. Transplant has different types of transplants. I say it is Sherlock Holmes and James Bond together is required in terms of applying your mind and treating patients here. From manual hemoglobin estimation, we have gone to next generation sequencing now. A lot of our diagnosis is embedded in the understanding of genetics. And from oral line to gene therapy now. <clears throat> so we talk about operational cure to complete cure. There are various definitions to this. There are diseases which were once thought incurable is now reaching 30-40%. There were 40% is reaching 80-90%. So there is a whole lot of treatment paradigm which has changed. Some of the diseases have become like hypertension and diabetes. So if you had a cancer in the past, you would say, when I will get cured and when can I stop the treatment or when, how long can I live? Now the issue is we're saying that it has been converted to hypertension or diabetes. You take the medicines lifelong and you may not be cured. You don't ask for hypertension or diabetes to be cured, but you want it to be controlled. That's the ISBMT registry of transplants in the country today, about 114 centers in the country. For a developed country number, the number of transplants which we should be doing is about 40,000. That's the number which we have now, about 20 times lesser. So you can understand the need and the scope for getting into this field and doing transplant.